Hello everyone and welcome back to the Do Digital YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a demo slash tutorial video all about my favorite email marketing software, Mailblaze. So if you caught my previous email marketing video, you'll see I chatted through some of the benefits of email marketing and why it's still very much relevant in 2021. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you just how easy it is to get started with Mailblaze, which is a South African platform which really makes email marketing a dream. If you are new here, Welcome to my channel. My name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. So before we get into today's video, if you wouldn't mind just liking this video and subscribing if you've not yet already, you wouldn't believe how much it helps my small channel grow. Let's get into the juice of it. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys is the pricing of Mailblaze. So what I love about supporting South African businesses is not only do you get that feel good factor of supporting local, it's also super competitive to actually work with platforms like this because obviously their prices are in rands and they have a very useful pricing calculator on their website, which means that you can actually work out exactly how much you will owe depending on contacts that you have as well as how many sends that you're doing a month. So other points on pricing that I've also noticed on their website is firstly, you don't have to pay for additional seats on this platform, which is different from a lot of other platforms which do require this. So you can actually have as many people as you want logging into Mailblaze, which I think is super cool as your business scales. Secondly, it is payable by card, so you don't actually have to deal with monthly invoices, which I think is pretty damn cool. And finally, all of its templates are free. So with a lot of these platforms, you have to pay extra for templates and there's hidden costs. And what I love about this one is that there is none of that. On that point, there's actually over 140 templates that they have on their platform. So you never feel like you're having to start from scratch. What I love about Mailblaze, apart from its very affordable pricing, is how easy the system is to use. They've actually recently rebuilt the software and it brings in a lot of like best in breed functionality from a variety of different competitors. I found very useful to work with and I know that a lot of other South African entrepreneurs will have some success with it too. So in today's video, we're going to be running through how exactly you get started with uploading your list. Then we're going to move on to how you create a template and then finally how you deploy a mailer. So I'm going to be sharing this with you guys step by step using my February mailer as an example. So I've used a bunch of different competitor platforms before, but more recently I've been using this for clients and for myself. And I really want to bring you guys along on that process and obviously invite you also to sign up to my mailing list because I have put a link down below that you can actually join my internet fam and get some amazing digital resources into your inbox. So before I can get going, I first have to import my email list. This involves uploading a list of email addresses who've subscribed to my mailing list. This could be from your previous email software or in my case from Teachable, which is the learning portal I hosted my social media marketing course on previously. Either way, it's absolutely imperative of the people have explicitly opted into your list. I'm going to skip a couple of steps on the screen share as I don't want to inadvertently show people's email addresses on my mailing list, but essentially I uploaded an Excel file in a .csv format and the alternatives to this are copying and pasting email addresses or using a SQL database. Your list is ready to create your very first mailer. From here, I'm able to select from 140 templates and choose the one which looks most like my brand. The best part is that all of these templates are completely responsive, which means that they will render beautifully on both computers and mobile phones. This is a crucial part of email marketing, as you will often notice that the bulk of people open email on their phone, meaning you need to take particular care to ensure the user experience is as seamless on a mobile phone as what it is on desktop. I chose a template called IdeaBuzz, which I think best suits my brand, and I continue on to customizing it and the content. The benefit of starting with a template is that you can get a great understanding of which layouts work well for your business and make it much more your own over time rather than having to start from scratch. Once I begin customizing my template, you'll see three options on the right hand side, namely content, structure and settings. I start with structure to choose whether I want the layout to be one column, two columns and so forth, and whether the columns are evenly spaced or not. I then move on to the content section to drag and drop the relevant content formats onto the mailer. 
You could just type all of your copy in a Word document if you are more organized than I am, but really here I'm just building as I go. I'm gathering all of my favorite resources for 2021 together and popping them into a nifty resources section for anyone who's thinking of joining my mailing list. I plan to do a monthly mailer and share only my top tips and best kept secrets. I must say I really love that Mailblaze's image uploader is so intuitive and makes uploading loads of images really straightforward. The best width to use is 600 pixels, so that is what I stick to. At this point, it's important not to forget about Canva. Canva is a really great free design software that you can use in tandem with Mailblaze to get your graphics looking great without being a designer or even anywhere close in my case. Finally, you can go into settings to tweak colors. I use a hex code to ensure that I always use the same shade of teal. This works the same way as an RGB or Pantone code and is very handy to keep as a virtual sticky note on your computer, which is what I do. Finally, when you're ready to move into the deployment phase where you set up your mail to be sent. This includes what the from address will be as well as the subject line. You can spam test the email, check that it'll render well across different devices and send yourself a test mail to ensure that you are 100% happy. You would also pick a database should you have more than one. Bear in mind that when you choose your subject line, this is actually one of the most important decisions you're going to make along this process because this is what's going to determine your open rate of your mailer which is arguably one of the most important metrics. So how many people actually open that mail as it came into their inbox? We know that with many providers, there's also promotions tabs like Gmail, for example. So there is a lot of chance for this to get lost unless you have a compelling subject line. And here you can see there's also a super nifty scheduling functionality, which you can also make use of to not deploy the mailer immediately. And there you go, it really is a super straightforward process and I'm hoping that this demo has made it evident that you do not need to be a pro to get email marketing going for your business. You simply need to treat your database like it's your biggest asset, only share mails packed with value and have building relationships at the core of everything you do. Thank you guys so much for watching my demo video. What did you guys think? Did you find it helpful? Was it more simple than what you were maybe expecting? And what is your feeling about Mailblaze and using a South African email marketing software? I would love to encourage anyone as far as you can to support South African local businesses, especially at this time, but certainly when the functionality is this good, you don't even need to factor in the fact that it's South African. It just honestly feels world class. I'm so glad that you guys made it this far in the video. I really appreciate it. Please do give it a big like if you haven't yet or subscribe if you haven't yet done that. And I cannot wait to see you in our next video so that we can continue to do digital better.